Hi, this is Mike WA3TTS, and we have a, uh, a Bendix DU1 Delta Uniform 1 RDF loop from 1942 here that we found on eBay for no money. And we built up a little power supply for it. It needs 200 volts uh, for the 12 SK7 uh, active preamps in it. <coughs> And 12 volts uh, for filament power, about 300 mils. So we have a uh, 200 volt and 12 volt supply we built up on a, uh, a commercial size junction box here. And we got some power to uh, the DU1 here. And we got a nominal signal level over here. Let me turn this, this is really bright. I find brightness. Okay, I'm gonna turn this, turn it way down. And let's see, maybe we'll shut the shop light off here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So we have a nominal signal there on the loop, and we're going to give it a little rotation. We'll watch. <laughs> Works great. Absolutely wonderful. This thing's 72 years old. I don't think it ever saw power before. Everything was spotless inside. And, uh,. We let it warm up for several days with filament power and ran some low voltage DC on the B plus uh, for several days and make sure the capacitors were, you know, functional after doing the other DC and uh, ESR tests. And it plays. It's amazing. Look at this. We got a little tuning knob down here. We can. I'm gonna back up so you can see me. I don't know. I don't have enough hand to do that. I mean, I all get all in the picture. But anyway, I'm I'm changing the loop capacitance right now. You can see it come up to just amazing. 72 years old, and it works as good as the day it came out of the factory. So. Anyway, makes you wonder how your iPhone's going to work 72 years from now. That's <laughs> 73 WA3TTS. This was a blast. I really enjoyed bringing this thing back to life. Take care.